Hello everyone, how good of you to join and welcome back to Anno 2205. Now we do have a bit of a problem here right now with our consumption rates. Uh, mass producing we already are um, and over here we also have our rejuvenators. But we're lacking a bit of money, which is very strange to hear, but 13,000 is still not enough. Neuro implants is down once again. Rejuvenators is down once again. I'm still going to head and upgrade more people though, especially more sexy executives. That's something that we want here in the center. And let's also go ahead and upgrade a few more people there, making our first smaller city bigger. There we can have a at least one. Yeah, we are still also not very high on the biopolymer production. 50 we have. Another very important thing is that we keep Without a lookout like for me, some good offers here and sales. Here. So whenever we need something, um, we might just go ahead and put, oh, well, sell something um, in that case here. Um, so that we can make a bit of money, right? That we have the next ones. Uh, I love it when the city grows bigger than because of that. Now 25,000 people and steadily growing. The upgrading to executives, I would still like to go for level 17 here. This gives me a bit more credits again that we can then use for our next project, which is the luxury food um, that we need to achieve. Now over there is also the lack of security. Unfortunately, that's always very, very expensive and not something that I like to spam too much. Let's have actually one police station just here in this area so this should make those people a bit happier and we can actually upgrade them level 17 perfect as we are still growing and another 60,000 credits at 240,000 credits way not enough for the moment so we still need more than that now this one though however allows us now something and that is the next type of food which is the luxury food that is actually a quest that we have there um, produce luxury food would it be now and for that well we do have a couple of options actually purchasing an island probably not we don't have the space for that we do however have space on that side of the city so we might after all need a bit of that space here because this one here is all reserved now for rice vitamins and stuff like that so we do need a dedicated space for all of that luxury food let's go ahead and have another branch more or less of a road sector going into this area and this outer side here that we want to use then with these new productions that we have so that's going to be a very expensive uh, production i don't think um we don't have the money for that yet to be honest right we do need 32 luxury food at the moment which is crazy high um as a consumption rate i might actually go ahead and just upgrade a few more to executives just because they pay so well and we need the money for that this might actually push us faster to the next option. level then as well. Expanded. Just have a look. And over... Ah, Nine I cannot because something walls. is definitely going down now. Uh, We're at the limit, I think. But look at that. This is what I like to see. Uh, level 17 is actually possible. Let's go ahead and do this. Level 18. Level 18 is actually possible. There we still have something. And there close out to our harbor area there we have it level 18 we have and a bit of more money again that we can then right spend and invest into our city of course yep consumption is through the roof so water is also through the roof here soon um, as we are starting to consume our next coastal sites to keep the water a bit high up there um, and rejuvenate us Starting with beef, we do need soybeans first, um, and they cost already quite a bit. So let's just go ahead and have a look of how many we could actually build here. That would, would be the first one, and then my idea is to just right, spam them in this area, and that's 20 soybeans only. <laughs> that was that. Let's go ahead and have the beef. The beef I probably will have on the... Ah, difficult, difficult on that side here. So there we could go ahead with the beef. In this area basically that's 22,000 once again for specific consumer and products. yeah 23 robots this one actually needs it's also consuming then the soybeans for us quite a bit and consumer 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 oh we're actually also low on the workforce didn't think that that is possible anymore Unfulfilled demand. We, all we can actually sell something here that is the synth cells so I'm going to go ahead and use this offer and some soybeans we now have um, as surplus as well right so that's a bit stuff. of a direct income that we can have on top of everything um, resource wise it's fine so let's go ahead and have a look at my cattle ranches those guys that we have then in this in this corner there and we're going to need 
yeah, a bit of beef, unfortunately. Um, and as we can see, that is already enough to completely use all the soybeans that we had, right? To have surplus of 16 beef at the moment. I'm going to need all of that space here for beef and soybeans. So we still need one more area, and that's the the wine. Now the wine is not that expensive, at least I don't think so. <laughs> It is, unfortunately. And we can have the wine then in this area, starting like so. And of course, once again, we do now have then these modules right next to it. Oh, yes, there we have the site. So I cannot build anything here anymore. But that's fine, because I'm not going to need more than that for now. We have 10 wine, 16 beef. And I could now go ahead with the luxury food and we've already also unlocked the next one which is the IntelliWear, so nanotech clothing which takes silicon and supercomputers <laughs> that we need to get ahead in the in the arctic first now as we can see 200 energy this factory here costs me and or this factory consumes so we need to continue with my panels I'm going to have one more over there in the mountainside and i'm also going to have one more here in this area, there is another mining site. We need to be careful about that. And where should we have those very, very high-tech factories? I might actually make us a small area here that I can reserve for it. I know, there we have the city. But it's probably the only place I can go for now. Yes. So we're going to reserve this area for... Some inter well, for some luxury food. That's this one here. Very, very expensive houses and factories. 40,000 it costs me. It at least should, yep, finish that next step that we have. And when we go ahead now and have a look at my rates here, it's actually all the wine that it consumes already. It's going to be interesting. Beautiful buildings, by the way. So that's all we have here. And they're now producing some beautiful quality food hopefully for my people we can actually also join the stock market now and i should do that the problem though is with the stock market that um purchasing shares the problem here is i don't have enough money to purchase shares or you know fight off purchasing others uh, my shares so the problem is that they could actually take over my company this wise not the best idea to go with the stock market right now so i'm not doing that we definitely do need more than a million before of that because other the competitors will then start to have auctions um, that they go with and they will try to take over my my company um, in this case right rejuvenators still a whole lot we might actually yep what i can do is since we have so many of them i can actually go ahead now and start selling them on the, the spaceport right so we're just going to have this whole row full here as we can see workforce is hurting with that we actually do have the resources so let's use our worker modules so this one here and look at that how much workforce we get back with them of course it's costing me but what we can do now is we can actually go ahead and say i have rejuvenators on mass and i want to sell them <laughs> and look at that there is a very cool adjustment here i think this is a bug we are actually making a loss if we sell 120 rejuvenators to the space station because they're dirt cheap they're absolutely not worth anything they're worth 12 credits the constructor bots are 76 okay this must be a bug yes it's a bug because even the algae is more expensive so unfortunately that's not going to work out uh, and there I thought I would be making a bit of a profit, but I'm not. Specific Another invasion happening rather, rather soon. And as we can see here with Wildwater Bay, um, we are completely down on the balance then. It's just a sheer luck that we are not negative really. Um, also with the money and the workforce and the energy, we need to get rid of that ASAP. Unfortunately, what I really missed out for now is upgrading my fleet, right? So we're still having a rather weak fleet. Um, so they really have a chance there Target at acquired. taking me down like that if they, if it continues like that. So we do need to do some military missions um, in the future. Roger. There's so many ships here now that I can't even see who's who. There are some enemy ships. 
because a lot of them are just trade ships, right? They're just passing by some drones, as we can see. And of course, then there is the the evil genius. Well, not really. We get a bit of fuel again, but we are not doing a lot of damage. That's one ship only, right? We definitely should avoid still the big ones. Let's try to repair. There we have that. How many do we need to actually destroy 17? Where are they? Battle there they stations. are. Right? I think there's some enemy ships. Yep. That's something we can do. Affirmative. And over here there's something. We do have two nuclear strikes actually. We can use that for our advantage. Here. It's only two of them. But it should still be fine. They're only here in, in groups of two. Right? So... Seems like a waste, actually. Up there. Underway. We need so many of them. Right, we fought him off, um, but that was a bit close this time. And as we can see, it's recovering now. <laughs> that was really down here. So, what we really need to do is some of those missions there. Let's just check the city real quick. We have now a few more products again, especially also newer implants. So I'm going to use this to get stronger out of it than before. Um, I can have another information center. Not here. This is going to be a main plaza. The same goes with this area. Right, so those are areas where we're going to build something big in it. And then I can have though one of these information centers in that area. This allows me to upgrade those people here. And upgrading we need. Perfect. Level 19. That's a bit of money again. Competitive edge. Sharp. More executives in the center. Luxury food is though absolutely impossible for the future. So it's so expensive. It's so much that I need of it. There's no chance for me to really get up there. At least not for now. We might actually purchase it at some point. I think that's cheaper. Level 20 with that right away. That was a really nice push. Under new name. Towards um, 40,000 people almost. And I think we also got a new title. The insider tip we are now. <laughs> of course I'm definitely not going to have the stock market still. We've also unlocked the metro station. Very important building. Very big building. And oh come on. Yes, this is actually possible if we get rid of that street here. We can really have that beautiful metro station here. And we should actually do that. 35,000 credits, we can afford that. And it's a big improvement for... It should be an improvement for my balance, and it is. Right, because that is fulfilled. And with that, we also get more people again. And 40,000 we have reached. Perfect. And I love the metro station. I mean, it's not really a metro station. It's a high-speed train network by the looks of it. We'll see what we can do. You? We can actually upgrade our first ships here. It's not costing me that, that much. Nice this one and me. this one. Positively. There is another upgrade me. here, 40,000. Um, it's destroyed right now, though. I think those are destroyed now as well. Um, and doing more missions gives me the experience points that we need, basically, to upgrade more. And I can't... I can never stop upgrading, really. And with the upgrading level 21, it's just so beautiful when you make a real progress without having to spam the buildings all the time. But just marvel at a growing town. And this is really just a fisher village of what we have planned over there. Let's go ahead and have a look once again. Um, since the money is coming in a bit more quickly now, we're still pretty fine with most consumption goods here, right? The neural implants is down a bit, but the rest is still, still stable. So we could still go ahead here and build a few more houses. And there we have the information center. I might have the police station right next to it unfortunately the police station is really big so let's have it actually here why because what we can do then is having the another metro station in this area right and thus we can have this whole block here for service buildings 
and we need those service buildings. And yes, this is probably the end of it because of, of this area, because there we have the factory then. And we do need those factories. This one, and we might squeeze in those smaller ones. There, perfect. Um, probably, probably, probably... This would be fine. And hopefully this is fine too. Actually, let's make it like that. And they already want information again. Yep, of course this is also adjusting Attention. itself to the amount of people Under that we have in the city. So we do need detected. these service buildings quite a bit, especially, especially the lower ones, right? So this one. The metro station is more powerful, for example. And this, and no ornaments still. I can't afford ornaments. Absolutely not. That's the end. Um, here we might have a smaller block still. Like this. We need to be very strict about this area here. I need it. I need the space for that. There is no way around that. That's still possible here, <laughs> because we are just bordering that. Uh. And this one I will need for factories as well, so no can do. No upgrades on that part, on that side. Now, we have used all the coastal sites for our desalination plants. There is not a single spot left. That means that we are really now totally limited by the water. So we have 62 more water supply. After that, we have to import it or we better get something else. This, These coastal sites here I need to uh, keep open for the algae production. So it's all about the water now that's really starting to limit us soon. For now though, what we can still mm, do is we can still go ahead and continue with some more um, buildings that we can have. So here another um, house. So this whole district here we can still form, right? Because that's still something that's lacking. Um, let's also finish that one. There we could actually have some ornaments here then. A bit of a green area perhaps. And then we have more blocks here. And probably also another block for something else then in this area. My humble fall. Right. -o. That's that. And once more. And as we can see, yep, water consumption is pretty high. So I cannot do that now forever. Here we have our factory district. So I'm not going to apply any more houses in this area. So let's just continue and go all the way there. And here we can actually then have another block of these. Ah, and there's one more module. right -o. At least that. Five more water that we get out of it. That we can then use. But the city needs to grow. That's the most important thing here. Um, there we now have, once again, the information demand. So I might actually make two right away. Plus also another police station then in the area. So I think this might be a very good spot here. There we have now lots of green areas here. So one of them is probably going to be a big park. The other one is for the um, headquarter monument. We also have the stock markets that we still need to have. Um, and the football stadium, right? So for that, we do need to leave the space open. I might actually also do something here then later for the surrounding area. But there's so much more space. It's incredible. 
This might actually not be the city center. Nope. The city center is most likely coming up then here in this area. Hmm, that's a bit of a problem here now with the grid system. But I guess it has to... Might make then also a double road here again. Going all the way to that side and all the way to that side. Really? I could be mad. Hmm, I might actually need to see make it like that. And then we have the smaller houses here. Water wise, <laughs> 53, so that's still fine, but of course we also need to upgrade those guys at some point. While we're doing all of that, actually, we do get a lot of money in, as we can see. So that's really, really useful. We can plan the city while we get some more money in. Um, and to have a bit of in the bank for the food production, then, that we're going to have then soon again. So the upgrading and our nano textiles. Now, this is important. Where do we want to have our city center? Right? So really where we will have the most powerful buildings. And I think we have reached the spot. So this one here. So this big road there goes all the way here and here it will then lead into a major crossing, right? So we make this one rather big, I guess, like so. And this one goes away. Right, so we are going to have this one around it then and then most likely up like that so we're going up here i have no idea how much space we will need in the middle here so that's why i keep this area off the charts right now of course this is not all going to be just big buildings then here but also houses then later but i need to find out how much space i need for the corporate headquarters then later right so that is where we have then this central area for the corporate headquarters and around that we can happily continue with the houses just adding one district to another one. So there we have another information center and another one and also another police station once again. And then we can happily go ahead and continue with more houses. So the cool thing about this one is we don't need to get rid of houses then later on since we now really know the city center. Of course, this is a bit too far off, so I think we are rather going with that as the city center. I think that's going to be better. And thus we have now a full new second block and city district just on that side there where we can then also expand with more houses. Perfect. And the city center is secured. There's going to be lots of stuff in there. Very important to keep these green areas. And the cool thing is we now know that we can safely continue building more houses on that side to further increase the size of the city here and resource wise we're still good so it was actually worth it building a lot of modules in advance Our next mission which would be the launch pad so we need to start upgrading our orbital spaceport which is another major step towards the moon and yes i think it's time for this let's get cracking on the global no spaceport and construction okay. has started with That's that. So this is the side. shuttle launching pad that no, we are that constructing now. And I have a feeling there is something happening you once again. The, the systems are ready and the shuttles are in position. Just start the countdown. I'm going to do that. While the, well, while the upgrade is taking place, we can continue with um, getting a few more districts on the way. So we have our nice, well, corporate headquarters center there. And around it, I will definitely, definitely going to, definitely going to have more houses, more blocks of people that I want to have here. So here we could have a mixture of something like that. And then the normal small houses just across the road there so that we have that whole thing here. And yes, while well, the music says it, it's getting dramatic once we reach the moon. 
once we have the ability to go towards the moon. Let's continue with another block of houses just over there. Spaceport Perfect. Expansion approved. And there is the finalization of our spaceport. Let's get cracking. Five, four, three, two, one. And well, A this is it. Moment. There the we are now. The world are upon Phase you. 3 is... Has begun. Well, the not coming to an end. Heads for the moon. You came a long way, but there's still another 250,000 miles to cross for you. Your colonists are waiting for orders. Now, before we actually go to the moon, I know the moon is very expensive, very expensive indeed. And what we definitely should be doing for that is upgrading a few more people. I've actually prepared something here. So as we can see, we have a huge surplus of the basic goods. The only exception here would be, so I've expanded my rice here, I've expanded my fruits. The only exception would be that perhaps we don't have enough of the organic food, but I do have enough rice and stuff like that. So getting another factory for the organic food out is no problem. We actually only have these modules there that I need to add to this whole area there. And I'm probably just going with that kind here. Right. -o. So in that case, having a few more, we can kind of, well, continue with the beautiful upgrading of this city. Those guys here, for example, we should be, you know, looking out that we are upgrading more and more people around the major spots of this town here. That's pretty important to me, at least. And that's what I'm aiming for. So there we also have a few more. And perhaps those guys here, whoops, they also do need some information there once again. My balance does like that a lot. So let's just add another information center on that side here. So the end, more or less, where we have then our wine. Now before we expand once again, I also will need to have, well, 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 some energy. Um, for now we still have to do with the wind parks, but that is going to change pretty soon. Because at the moment we can start with the fusion generation, but of course not right away, so it's still going to take us a bit of time. Yet I would like to use some more energy or, well, utilize some more energy and that's what we need to do over there. Let's continue with some more of these wine fields here. Boy, we do need a lot of them, right? So the wine needs to flow. Unfortunately, they need a lot of space for the base factory. They don't need a lot of space for the modules themselves afterwards. So I do need to be, yeah. We are not really utilizing a lot of space here at the moment. We are having now 36 beef and 40 wine. So in that case here, I can now continue with the, uh, well, where is it? My food factories. There we have them in all their glory. Um, probably going to add a few more modules here. So that's three more modules that we have. It's so expensive. It's incredible. But, 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 but we are getting a bit closer there to our... Uh, food supply or what we actually want to achieve there, right? So Yeah, and level 24 because some of them have received now their food and look at that 32 luxury food surplus We have so far that's definitely going to help us there And it's also growing my people to the next level and with level 25, which is the next one We're getting a new title there. We're getting new ship types and a bit more credits. How good is that? And we can continue right away with some more houses. On the other side, we are now continuing with the expansion over the square that we have there. So I'm just going to add a few more here. Of course, we should still be looking out also for some more parks that we want to have in the area then, right? So here I'm definitely going to have, since that is a pretty big area already, I might just have some more double roads than here. And then we can actually do some blocks of houses like so oh yes okay this actually requires me more robots that we don't have at the moment but we should be fine with having more houses in this area then 
and then perhaps another park somewhere. I'm dreaming of a lot of parks. Perfect, that's that. And, hmm, robots. Now, while we build so many houses, um, a few problems have arisen. So once... Oh, yes, hello, Drake. He Refute. is in Akia Flows, so we will need to settle this one. But what I actually wanted to do is Transfer another vitamin factory in this Gosh. area, because we this definitely goes. do need more vitamin. And then the water. Now, with the water, we have a real problem now. This island doesn't have a coastal side anymore. This one doesn't anyway. Um, this one still has some water sites, so we could use this one. How expensive would that be? It's affordable. 180,000. Totally affordable. Full Let's get ahead. over there. It's exactly what we need, and we will also now clean up the blockade that we have in Akia Flows over there. There's also some route problems, as I can see. That's not because of the invasion. Alright, while we're fighting, there is actually a lot of these big ships now in the region. Three of them. That's insane. I don't think I've seen three yet in an invasion. We have one support fleet that we would call, but it's definitely not enough. Let's just try to circumvent them for now and destroy those guys here. Yes, I think they've seen me now. Let's get the support fleet out there. They're going to help me a bit and I might... Now, they're taking the damage now, actually. So that's something that I can do here. Oh my goodness. I'm getting wrecked. So this is absolutely no place here. What is going on? Why do we have these kind of ships here? Oh my. Okay, at least one is down. We got two missile barrages that I could use. Uh, I still have some ships left. At least that's that. And yep, there we can destroy some of them with some missile <laughs> launches like that. And off they go. Perfect. Another support fleet. We might actually do this after all. Perfect. That was very close though. So I haven't seen three dreadnoughts yet in one spot like that. No idea why it's happening. Anyway, it's over, so the balance should be coming back to life again. And we will also now receive... Yep, the new implants that I've already started here. Energy workforce-wise is fine, so I might... I might I might just... Just do one thing, if we can. Having another Molybdean mine somewhere. Um, I might... Yep, we should get to the other side here, right? So we can actually afford that. And I do have my little clipper, or whatever it is called somewhere in the area now there we have a new site Very that we can good. claim it's Existence rather expensive but we do need to so we are expanding in the arctic now um there we have some of that molep then as well that i want to use now for this we are still sharing the workforce and the energy Please, so the cool thing free. is i only need to build this mine here really and we should be fine 30 we get out of it and I can now use those neuromodule factories there and continue with the expansion of them all the way to that side here. And actually that's, yeah, we have enough to continue with the construction of even more. So 31 we have now as a surplus. And I might also just have me some another um, solar collector on that side. I could now go all the way here, by the way, with more people, right? So two full rows we could have. Not a good idea to do it now, so that's fine for now. Let's say bye-bye to the Arctic once again. We have other stuff to do. First of all, I would like to get the surplus now over to Wild Water Bay. So 39 is pretty good. By the way, the moon is unlocked, so we should really go to the moon, right? Enter the lunar region, money-wise. Back in our little Wild Water Bay, I would like to continue now with a few more upgrades while we can. So let's have those rows here. And perhaps also these blocks here that I can now upgrade. That's going to feel good. Probably also a bit bad at the same time, but it should be fine <laughs> as we continue. And next up, they would like to have more security right away. Let's give it to them here. Ah, level 25. Perfect. A bit of money, a new title, local competitor and new ship types that we can use then in our missions. So that's something. Now, I think we have two options now actually. Either we go for the um, nanotextile mill now, with that we get new goods, or 
Well, we go to the moon. I think we go to the moon Be first. As far as For know, the moon, we have a, 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 a well, a few more sectors now points. available. Up there, you'll be on your own. The Novikov crater. Let's just see that we have the rare materials. Workforce project for ornamentals. Mare relictum. This is one big crater. This is three small craters, and this is two craters. One big and one small. Um, this one has the workforce project. I don't think that I've done this one yet. Gravitational field. We might actually do the Novikov crater this time. Building space. It's totally fine. You have entered. Phase 3 of the Lunar Licensing Program. Your shuttles have arrived at the designated settlement territory. You are required to establish a lunar colony there and begin helium-3 extraction. The development of a stable fusion reactor is your primary objective. Additional information. Hostile activities detected near your settlement territory. Now be who careful. would that be? So, here you are, the moon, your very own piece of it. Careful though, this sector borders the orbital watch's territory. Union satellites spotted lunar vehicles moving in the vicinity. So, keep one eye on the horizon, while you see to the foundation of your first moon colony. And that will do, it's just beautiful up here, isn't it? Safety requirements demand you only found moon colonies and craters. They offer the best protection against cosmic radiation and meteor impacts. There we are in the bigger of the two craters. It's looking fantastic. You Let's claim the area. And what do we have on the moon? Well, we don't have the cold up here. Well, we do have the cold, but it's not a big deal. What we have is radiation and meteor impacts. So we do need to have some shields around our houses if we want to keep them maintained and also our people alive. So that's going to play a major role. Once again, as always, I'm lying out some street foundation here so that we have a Kind of like a, a figure of what we can go for. There is also a smaller mine here that I might actually just connect there. As we can see, there's the meteors coming down. There they are protected everywhere else. They're not. First things first, um, build and connect the living units. So we do need some living units. We do need to produce some oxygen and titanium plating. Let's continue. Or let's start with the first moon uh, people that we can have at these houses there. So the first block, 45,000 this block here costs me alone. So that's really expensive. I hope it's going to be worth it. But yes, of course it is because we get the fusion reactors and that's actually why we're here after all. Let's have another block here. That's coming then over into the, the beginning area and those guys here. And that's the end of it for now. There we have them, the miners, some new residences. They want quite a lot of stuff. We can't even trade with them yet since we don't have the tech for it. But I'm definitely going to hook the moon up to my base. Let's start with titanium plating. For that we do need once again um, titanium mine. your lunar yield down, you must establish additional landing stages for cargo shuttles going to do all of that first of all we do need a shield she's actually giving me a new mission right away and there we have our first mine i think we keep it with one module for now and the cool thing about the moon is once again we can have our condensed factory layout so we can have some factories close together um, on that side here right so they don't need a connection with other people necessarily that's actually fine already the only thing now is oxygen. For oxygen, we do need another mine. So this one here. Oh, energy is going down quickly. Um, solar array. Up here, we don't have that. So we do need a mine for that. Let's just go for... Yep, let's go for this one. And there we do get our solar power panels. So they are going to provide us some energy. Now, workforce is rather on the low end of things, so let's just check this one. There we might have uh, 23 workers that we could reduce by four workers for each one of these modules. Why not? Why not? After all, workforce is the running factory here, and then we can have an oxygen production. 
And let's have this one out here, actually. Let's focus and have the industry in, you know, condensed spaces, dedicated spaces. So the oxygen, for example, we could have in here right away. Uh, we do need some logistics there as well. As always, even the logistics needs some radiation protection. And with that, at least, we have now the oxygen production. Huh. The problem, though, is still with the workforce. Two more houses. It's if really expensive. How big your colony has grown in such a short time. Very good. So for now, our little colony is thriving and starting to live. We would have now our first upgrade that we need to do. That is our spaceport. This one here. And it does now require those, those titanium platings. We have a production of 10. I can start it. Caution. Convoy of unidentified vehicles just crossed sector border. Hello. Do you read me? Please come in. I'm Xander Haynes. Sorry to invade your territory, but as I see it, we have the same enemy. I speak for the Lunar Excavation Corps, if you still acknowledge it. Yes, yes, the sheep run back to those who once sheared them. Beware, the wolves are at the door. Yes, actually, that's me. Pardon me. <laughs> I'm the wolf and you're the sheep. Listen, and we're I going to crush to you once again, as we've done now countless times. Secretly fled to Earth. The Global Union didn't find a proper solution. So they transferred them to Arctic Protectorates. And All right. now I've been informed that Drake is leading a battle fleet there to annihilate them. Please, you must The Tundra defense line, this one here, oh, we reached the next level. That's actually a bit far away, so I'd rather do the level here real dangerous. quick. Um, yep, we can upgrade, so this will speed up job. the you mission there significantly. Me. We can I'll afford that. And also let's do it on advanced level so that we do get more experience points out of it. Let's get cracking. There you are. Not a minute too early. The orbital watch. They brought in everything at their disposal. They know we have no means to defend ourselves, and still they threaten us with wave after wave of battleships. We are fully dependent on you for support here. You wish you'd never set foot in our territory. The first wave will wash away the second. All right, so it begins. We got our nicely upgraded fleet with some new ships there as well and neutralize both orbital watches on the other side on the other end of this whole map here so let's get in there and have some fun with those guys there and i think we will take this path there there's actually one battle cruiser oh it's the battle cruisers that we need to destroy i see i see i see that's tricky there we got one missile launcher and they're oh, they're attacking from the south. Should be careful there. I really don't want to lose a ship before we reach the battle cruisers. Let's take care of those fleets here, those ships that we have there. Very good. There we get it back. These are the suicide ships that are actually just rushing towards us and try to destroy it as quickly as possible. Lots of Iridium, perfect. We can use that and Magnite. Actually, we have quite a lot of that, but we do need a lot of it too. For all the modules, each module does require that resource. There's the first one. It's actually destroying these walls as well. Interesting. Let's use the first missile barrage on it. As we can see, it's doing a bit of damage there. Oh. We're now trapped there a bit. Wait for the boom. Let's have the second one. Uh, I might need to call in my support fleet. Alright, no, I think we'll be fine. There's the first one. Going down. And the second one is actually moving up here somewhere. It's actually destroying the walls. That is new to me. And we got lots of fuel with us as well. I could once again set the missile launchers on there. Very good. And then I could call in the support fleets to speed this whole thing up. And let's repair my ships. Uh, it's trying to flee, but that's not going to work out. Mission 
perfect. That was actually a mission. That was actually a fun mission. And once again, we have defeated Drake. We do get some new military level, hopefully. Ah, we're not. But... Yeah, well, actually, that's it. We have finished the mission, after all. Drake's fleet? His dreadnoughts? These aren't mere mercenaries. Drake must have military facilities on Earth. So that would be I our goal. You. Without you, there would be nothing left of our protectorates. Each time you stop one of Virgil Drake's schemes, you bring us closer to a peaceful colonization of the moon. Keep it up. I am. So finalizing my spaceport upgrade on the Novikov crater on the moon. Um, but first of all, we have a bit of stuff to do in Wildwater Bay still. Let's claim the next site, the last island actually that we have on this map. That's, well, costing me quite a bit by the looks of it. And we do get two mining sites out of that. And, yeah, a few coastal sites that I can still use. What I can see is we are at minus 20 on the water. So let's just keep going with that. It's a bit of water coming in again. And over here we still have two more coastal sites. Let's try that. There is one more. Perfect. This just only buys us a bit of time, unfortunately. It's not going to make the problem go away with the water. I think, I hope... Nope, we don't have anything here. So this one here is probably going to be algae. I will probably have to go with that. Now, let's continue though. Um, we can still continue with a bit of upgrading. That I would like to do on those sites. Everything around the corporate headquarters, that massive building that we're going to have, needs to be upgraded. There's some more... We have the resources after all, and it's a lot of money. That's going to be a really, really cool city, especially from the ocean then, when you look at it. <laughs> Once we have some more skyscrapers in the region. And while we upgrade and while we do get more money in, um, we can actually start with the next thing, and that would be the silicon or the IntelliWare. First of all, though, <laughs> what I see is that, once again... My fruits are low, so we have a couple of islands, this one here most likely, where I could still get some more fruit um, production going on, right? Because in Wild Water Bay itself, it's getting tight. It's getting really tight over there. I don't think... I mean, we still need more production over here then, so I would like to keep that available. Um, I could have another two farms here. And one more here. Yeah, three more here, actually. Perfect. Level 26. I will need the money. Mm, I think... I should be able to... Nah, there's the mining site. Alright, there's a mining site. Didn't see that. bit more fruits never hurts and with that we do get more vitamin condensers now that we can use just in the area so most likely like this this one so it's a lot of modules once again that we built here obviously but it's important I don't it's really that much we really have such a high vitamin consumption baffles me a bit but what can you do about it we have lots of fruit still. Perfect. There we have all the vitamin condensers that we need. 100 surplus again. Um, fine so far. So that means we can upgrade again. And I would actually like to continue upgrading to more executives. So what we already started over here. And we might just build the next area of executives, right? So this whole area there. Let's upgrade them. Beautiful houses, beautiful buildings, towers, whatever. As there is also, and this is a really cool detail, as there are more and more cars on the street. More traffic appearing I now everywhere. Like Level 27, of course, with that we are continuing here to grow right now with that. Also, money-wise, this is a big help, of course. Now, this opens up now something for us, and that is the IntelliWare. It's going to be expensive. It's going to get dirty with this one. We do need silicon. And we do need the flax, I think. Yes, flax plantation. Now, the flax fibers, that's actually something that we're going to have over here, right? So we still have a bit of space there. 
bless us. Um, in that case, the problem is with that space, it's close to the mountains, so it's definitely not going to be very efficient. This whole area is beef. Yeah, this one is flax. We're making all the flax that we can down here. Also, the silicon. There we start with the first one. So we're making some microchips now, some computers. Um, let's also have a warehouse close by that we can use here. And that's 20 only. I might have another mine just on that end. Well, we can still use them. So that's a surplus of 40. Not very expensive so far. Next up, we have the flax. So that one here. A new production chain. And of that, we're going to need a lot. Hey, well, yeah, there we have now quite a lot of flax production. Once again, some beautiful detailed factories. The silicon is coming in, and that means we have now everything that we need for the microfabrication hole. Very expensive building once again. 260 people actually and 50 energy. Where should we have that? We already have some high tech going on here. I might do the IntelliWare here as well since it just makes sense to have high tech close together. Um, we also have more space over there, right? So, yeah, let's actually have our microchips being constructed in the area. That's the first ones that we need. And once again, we do need quite a lot of them. Let's just make sure that we have all the silicon that we need that was actually almost enough for two silicon mines right that's enough now 40 microchips and now we come to the last part the intelliware the intelliware we're probably going to have in this corner of the very expensive factories lucky us we don't need that much we still need it but not that much and then we can have those modules here once again let's have this one here as close to the mountain as possible so that's actually possible. Fantastic. And the first IntelliWare is coming in. Actually, we can build more of them if we want to, right? So the next one, right here. Is that enough? We can still build more. So we, we do have a nice foundation, actually, of this whole thing. Uh, level 28 we have a reef, uh, achieved now as well, thanks to the IntelliWare coming in. Let's have one more factory. Could have it here, actually. It's a little puzzle of its own. Oh, and there we are running out of energy now. Perfect. A few more, and energy-wise, we still will need something. How much do we actually now produce we produce enough we could still have more factories so i'm a bit surprised there i don't know if this has been remodeled but we can have quite a lot of these factories now of course yep they are quite expensive overall but it's absolutely required if we want to go to the highest tier of houses let's have one more solar panel by now we are really spamming the whole island with solar collectors um until we have the fusion generation that is one more over there. Perfect. I was actually not that good on the balance, to be honest. Ah, welcome. Intelliware is in. Bioenhancers. That's something we actually need from the moon. Not something I can do right now. Very well. We've made nice progress and are on the moon. Stay tuned. <laughs>